Good morning, folks. Hopefully you got a chance to see the update to the Sun and Storms video posted last night. If not, you'll find the link in the description box right below this video. Let's come straight to the solar wind, because quite obviously the last two CMEs merged into one. The latter portion did not have its own shockwave signature, but did continue driving powerful magnetic storms throughout the day yesterday. The electrical problems persisted as well as might be expected for the following 24 hours or so, and none of these electrical fires or outages was under stormy skies. Just glitches, trips, and faults. We had three aviation stories as well. Now, the two helicopter crashes are temporal coincidence. We have no official word on their crash cause as of yet. But if you had any trouble with Alaska Air yesterday, I'll confirm. They told me on the phone it was a system-wide dispatch outage internally. And while I cannot find any official news articles on it, word came from a passenger friend of mine, and then I confirmed with another, and confirmed with Alaska Air on the phone. Same situation with the U.S. East Coast grounding in September 2015. The last 24 hours on our star was relatively calm. We had no more large ejections, and we also note the dark patch encroaching on the north. Solar flaring is on the decline as the sunspot turns away from view. That was quite the performance the little guy put on. Next space weather will be from the northern coronal hole. Briefly holds up the seismic alert until its solar wind arrives early next week. Also just behind that opening, over the limb, we see the umbral magnetic fields that may be associated with another sunspot. The ones remaining on the disk are lackluster. Quick news highlights include the August U.S. climate report, and that is a lot of blue. Link is below for you to check out in more detail, along with an image comparison of the Ganges flooding in India thanks to the Earth Observatory. We also have three very serious gentlemen getting their inner child on with super luminous supernova and what can be learned with their ultraviolet light signatures. Hurricanes Irma and Katia visible on Goes East. Folks, yesterday we peeked in on the faster tracking and western shift of the forecast in the wake of the solar storms. Today the western shift continues. Running the European model, the GFS model, and the NAM 3 kilometer, we find the forecast shifting further and further west by the day. The NAM has the eye missing Florida altogether. Folks, this is a major question mark right now and there are no clues from the sun about which of these paths will be taken. Gotta pay attention yourself. Now we've got the wind maps, null school up to the top of the sky, and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.